Innovation thrives in adversity. It may be something as simple as connecting the dots that already exist, but in a new way. Creating networks and integrating assets have often allowed a little to go a long way. Camille Sugrim, as co-founder and CEO of Empowering, a nonprofit organization that is transforming the way philanthropic causes collaborate to fight global poverty, will present the Global Action Initiative Leadership Award. <laughs> Please welcome Camille Sugrim. Founded by Africans and Americans amidst the Sahelian drought of the early 1970s, Africare has grown to become a leader in aid to Africa, pioneering various types of self-help development programs and noted for its close collegial partnerships with the people and leaders of Africa. Africare's philosophy has always been there are no African programs, there are no Africare programs, only African programs. Under the leadership of Dr. Darius Manns as CEO, Africare has built upon this philosophy to link all of its programs in an integrated organic way directly to the solution. No problem exists in a vacuum, therefore no program addressing only the surface symptoms, the surface symptoms will work. Under Dr. Mann's leadership, building the infrastructure around sound empowerment principles leverages all the assets Africare's leadership and partners bring, creating real African programs of change. It's our great pleasure to present the Global Action for Innovation Leadership Award of 2011 to Dr. Darius Manns, CEO of Africare. Women are paving the way for new business in the Republic of Chad. Usal Dedingar is one of them. A single mother of two, caretaker of six, savvy businesswoman and role model, Usal has come to define strength and vision in a nation where many women experience difficulties succeeding on their own. At the beginning, when my husband died, it was very hard. I made an effort to grow food, start an animal husbandry, and realizing I could not address all of my problems alone, decided to sensitize my sisters for the creation of a grouping. Usal's group is one of 20 associations across the Doba and Lagone regions of Southern Chad that are thriving as a part of a women's economic empowerment project sponsored by ExxonMobil and implemented by international NGO, AfriCare. Women are the key to its success because in Chad, it's the women who reinvest back into their communities. To educate a woman is to educate a nation. So assisting them means to assist the most important sector of the Chadian economy and assist the Chadian population in general. The project is part of ExxonMobil's Women Economic Opportunity Initiative, a global effort to assist women in developing countries fulfill their economic potential and serve as drivers for social change. Micro project grants are awarded to each association to buy equipment and services to cover the startup costs of opening a business. Today, women are able to manage their enterprises and support their families. 
This is what makes me proud. Women are open for business in Southern Chad. Their work is changing the face of industry and reducing social and economic barriers that once prevented them from playing a prominent role in their economy. Their investments are not only in business, but in their families and communities. Osal and the women of her group are living examples. ExxonMobil and AfriCare are partnering with the women of Chad to build a new generation of business and opportunity changing lives and building futures together. <laughs> Fran and the committee that has selected Africa for this wonderful award, I thank you all. We are very blessed and humbled. I accept this on behalf of the management team at Africa of all of our staff who are out in the field, those community health workers who are getting it done every day. This award comes at a very special time for us as an organization. We have just celebrated our 40th anniversary, 40 years of improving the lives of millions of Africans across the continent. Last year, we had a very special celebration of our 40th anniversary. We paid tribute to our honorary chair, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela said in 1997 words that we will never forget at AfriCare, that AfriCare is America's greatest gift to Africa. We are the largest nonprofit organization working on the ground, exclusively focused on Africa, helping Africans to lift themselves out of poverty. Africa 40 years ago is a very different place than today. 40 years ago, many of the countries that we work in weren't even independent. Today, I'm happy to tell you that there are so many countries that are on the move in Africa. Much work to be done, but it's a very different story, Africa in the 21st century. It's not a story of despair, disease, conflict, hopelessness. Africa is very much on the move. And we at Africa are playing our part to help Africa take its rightful place. Very important as we look ahead are the challenges that Africa faces of high population growth rates. That is something that we work on every day in working with women, like you saw in the video, to provide an opportunity for them for education, for them to be able to provide for their families, to improve water and sanitation, just as water.org and so many organizations, to try and reduce waterborne diseases, which are the cause of death for so many infants. We have lots of work to do, but I'm confident with the support of all of you all of the work that we're doing together, I've been so inspired these past two days of working with so many like-minded organizations from the private sector, the nonprofit world, and individuals, all working together to achieve social justice, not just in Africa, but also here at home. So again, I just want to thank you all for this award.